Hey guys, I'm here today to talk about some alternatives to plastic for sippy cups and also for toddler slash baby um, just dining type things. So the first one I'm going to show you here is from Life Factory. It's one of their glass bottles. This one is the sippy cup, but you can also change the caps and use it as a bottle. It has a little valve that you can put inside the lid. I don't use it with the valve. Um, I don't know. I just he doesn't need the valve, but um, it also has the option to put just like a regular cap on it, so it's totally leak proof in your bag, or um, I actually use it myself as a water bottle when we're out and about. Um, I just, I like to use this one for milk because it's the only one I have that's clear, so I can see how much he's drinking um, of his soy milk each day, and then I just wash it at the end of the night, and then it's ready to go for the next day. So this one I got on Amazon, it was about $16, and they have a lot of different colors, and they cost different things depending on what color you got. That's kind of how Amazon does a lot of their stuff, but anyway, this sippy is a great one. I really like this. Another one we have is from the Thermos brand. I got this one at Target for about $15, but you can buy it on Amazon as well. It kind of flips open there, <clears throat> and this one's a straw cup. And it all comes apart really well, which I really like because I don't like cups that have any spots that you can't clean that will get moldy or gross. So um, it all comes apart. This comes apart, and you can really get in there and clean it well. It's like double walled on the inside so that it can keep drinks colder longer. So um, <clears throat> we really like this one. We use this one when he goes to preschool one morning a week. Um, I tried writing his name on Sharpie over and over again, but it just kept rubbing off at the end of each day. So... I eventually had to take a, a knife to it there, real classy and carve fin in, but um, it's a good cup for daycare. It does leak if it has stuff in it and you lay it down, but um, as long as you're kind of aware to just keep it upright, it's a really solid, sturdy cup, so I like that one. Another one we have is this Clean Canteen one. I bought this locally for about $17, but you can find this one on Amazon as well. It has this little cup if you're taking, or this little cap if you're taking it out and you want to keep it clean. I don't ever use it, but just wanted to show you that. And then it opens up, and it has this inner valve that you can use. I do use the valve on this one. This is the one um, that he carries around the house a lot at night, or will keep at his bed at night, and he's not always the best at putting it upright, so it, it's pretty good about not leaking. It does, it can leak a little bit if it's like upside down for a long time. You should expect that of any sippy, but it's pretty good with leaks. Um, they also sell this with a sports top that you can screw in. It's just like the kind that you pull open and closed. Um, I thought that would be fun for him to have a different one because he likes to drink out of different things. That's why all of our cups are different. But um, I just felt like you couldn't really get it clean enough because if it was up there and, or down when you're cleaning it, depending, like there would just be like that little ring inside that could just really hold water. And I just thought that was gross. So um, we just use it like this. So there's the clean canteen. We like that one. And then the last one that we have, this one's called the Safe Sippy, and this is the two-in-one cup. We got this on Amazon. I think it was about $13, and it also comes with this little protective cap you can use. We don't use it, but um, came with it. This cup's neat. It really grows with your kid. Um, it has this little handle here that's removable. We don't use it anymore, but when he was little, we did. I have it right now as a straw cup, and when he was... Finley was little, he only would drink out of straw cups for a while, so that was a nice option. Um, the straw comes out, and then it has a little valve to keep the straw in place. And then there's another valve that it comes with. This one doesn't have any holes in it at all. So if you wanted this to be totally leak-proof in your bag, you could just pop that in and put it in. Um, I never used it like that, because then your hands are all dirty if you're out and about, and you're like changing the things. I always keep it upright in my bag, but it's a nice option for people who really don't want it to spill. And then it also came with a third little valve that's clear that does have the little slits in it to make it a nice little valve. I've had it, I've had all these cups for a good solid year, and of course, like just this last week right before this video that disappeared, I'm sure it will turn up. But um, that way you can use it as just a regular sippy if you want. But my favorite thing about this sippy is the hole right here, if you can see my finger through it there. If you don't put a valve in it, it has a pretty nice sized hole. So you can use this for smoothies. It's awesome for smoothies. The seeds don't clog anything up. Any of these other cups, you know, even if this doesn't have the valve, it still has those little holes, so it eventually gets, you know, clogged up. So this is a perfect smoothie cup. It's really great for that. So this is really versatile. Smoothies, straw, regular sippy. It just has a lot of options. 
So those are our four sippy cups. Um, yes, they all cost more than plastic. You can get a plastic one for two dollars or whatnot, but um, we really prefer for him to be drinking liquids and eating food out of non-plastic things. Even though a lot of things are BPA-free these days, they still have PVC or other plasticizers in them that just aren't good for liquids sitting in there for a long time. And um, I, I'd rather have just four cups and have them be nice quality ones that will last for both of our children when we have another child eventually and um, I just feel better about that. So that's just the choice that we made. Those are the choice or those are the cups that we have for sippies. For um, at the table, he just drinks out of these little mason jars that are like less than two dollars a piece. Um, super simple. I think this is like, I don't know, about six ounces if you felt it to there. So these are super thick glass. He has dropped these before and they haven't broken yet. Yes, they could, they're glass, but um, I don't let him walk around with these um, just in case something were to happen. But we really, really like these for the table. I also use just these on the go, like for myself. I'll throw in the diaper bag with water in it. Um, it's a little bit heavier than another a stainless steel thing would be, but it's a nice small size for traveling. Another thing we like to use are these, I think these ones are four ounce, these little mason jars. I got these when he was little and for his baby purees. These were great for freezing or just storing, but they're also just great to carry in the diaper bag with any kind of little snacks in them, or if he has just like a little bit of leftovers or something, then I can just store it in here and put it in the fridge and then heat it up before his next meal or snack. So these are also super cheap and, um, you know, glass safe, lasts for a long time. And then for a bowl at the table, this is just like a little pinch bowl. I got it at TJ Maxx Home Goods. It was like, I don't know, $2, super cheap, super sturdy. He eats cereal out of this or pasta or just a lot of things. So that's a nice plastic free alternative. We only have one bowl, but that's plenty. I just wash it after he uses it. Um, for silverware, I got these little bamboo. These are actually like sugar stirring sticks I got from a local kitchen store. I think they were like a dollar or two each. They don't last forever once they get washed enough times. I don't know if you can see, just like they kind of get dry and a little splintery. If I was better about treating them with oil, then they would probably last longer, but um, that's a nice option. Or we have these little spoons, and these were like, you know, they're like um, fancy appetizer spoons that I just got in a set way before we had kids. It just, it was perfect that we already had them for him to use. And then this fork is, um, specifically a baby fork that I got at a local store. I paid, so I don't, I'm embarrassed to say this, I paid $7 for this fork. That's why he has just one fork. I'm not gonna buy a bunch of these, but again, I'd rather him have one good one than 50 gross plastic ones. So um, I splurged for the $7 fork and it will last and it's great, it's a great size and he loves it. So that's for cutlery, I guess. And then the last thing I'm gonna show you, I love this, I got this, um, well, they sell it on Amazon. Um, I don't remember where I got it. Anyway, this is called the Inno Baby Stainless Steel Bus Platter. And um, as the name would imply, it's a platter that's stainless steel. It's great. It has um, the little wheels or, you know, circles. And I see if I can kind of show you, like, how deep they are there. This is, I just absolutely adore this. It's great, you know, has plenty of room to put all this food. You can eat soups out of these. You can eat pasta or just you know, a sandwich or anything, it, it kind of challenges me each meal to try to give him five different things so to see what he's kind of feeling like at that time and I can just refill them all. Um, the only bummer about this is I didn't get the one that comes with a lid. They do have one um, <clears throat> that has a little lid so if you wanted to store stuff in the fridge. Um, but I don't know if I would necessarily even do that because then if it's something hot, you can't microwave this. So I generally just put stuff into little things like this anyway so I can reheat them later. But um, Again, we just have one of these. It was around $20, and I just wash it after every meal or snack, so it's always ready to go, and um, I think it was totally worth the money. We've used it every day, like five times a day for two, you know, I don't know, I guess he's been eating for about a year and a half, so, um, and it still looks brand new, and this has been thrown plenty of times. I have a toddler. So, anyway, so those are just some ideas if anybody's interested in um, some plastic-free stuff to feed your kids with and um, I will leave the brand names in the description box if you want to search anything but pretty much all this stuff can be bought on Amazon or um, just probably a lot of local stores in your area. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye!